This is our new tablet, Motorola Mobility. We're all in red now, new shirts and everything. It's uh, it's called the Motorola Zoom, and Google is going to debut their new Android 3.0 operating system on this the day we launch. No Android keys. Got rid of them. There's only three buttons on the device. We've got a volume up and down and a power button on the back. Very simple. Uh, for the interface, we've got a USB. We got a standard USB interface and an HDMI out, and then power, power interface. Uh, we've got a two megapixel camera that Google uses for Google Talk, uh, and we've got a five megapixel camera that you can use for video or you know, anything else you want to use a five megapixel for. Stereo speakers, uh, flash, and headset jack on the top with the ability uh, with software upgrade in the future to support SD card. So it's Android 3.0 Honeycomb. So this is the user interface. You recognize it, obviously it's got the different windows. Uh, you got the widgets that you can you can you can actually use and scroll because they're big enough. You can really see what what you're going. You can scroll through within the widget and select that, and it'll open up, for example, that email or that calendar event. I love I, I use that all the time. You can customize it. You can go in. You can select uh, you know a, a chat person you want to you record chat with or you chat with often. Um, YouTube videos that you consistently watch or you know, want someone else to see, so you store them out. So once again, you press the plus, comes up, you have a lot of different options. Here, you move the clock in, you can move the clock around. Pretty standard, like you would expect you could do. Um, so here's another case, you press the plus, they show you, you can move, you know, uh, your whole book set of books in there, like if you're doing e-books. And then when you go back there, You'll have the books that you currently watch. It scrolls. You could double tap on that. It would open up eBooks, and you could see it. Or uh, you can go into eBooks uh, another way. You could then jump into the browser here. So here's browser. Your uh, most frequently, or uh, you can store whatever you want in there, whether it's uh, history or uh, bookmarks. Multiple tabs across the top, so you just keep opening tabs. Uh, it's all cash, so they, they're immediately available. Uh, you see, graphics intensive, uh, the Tegra, you know, dual core processor, the, uh, the uh, one gig of RAM that we put in can handle moving a lot of data and a lot of graphics image around. Uh, and ebooks, a nice carousel view of the ones that you're currently reading. Uh, you'll see, you know, it's a page turner. Nice thing here, uh, the sync with the cloud. So if you set the tablet down, hop on a train, and want to continue reading on your other Android device, you go open that same book, it'll it'll remember the page you're on, and you know it'll be a seamless transition. Uh, Gmail, uh, nice. I mean, what you'd expect interface. Uh, it's usable. It's like on your your laptop. Uh, Yet it's 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 synced in with the the Google ecosystem and the framework of the Android 3.0. So you know anything when you know Gmail, if you click on a link, it'll go to the browser. If you click on a map uh, location, it'll it'll open up the mail. I mean it's it's a just a, a nice synced in for one device to have around with you. So here's an example: they they open up a map. YouTube's got a new uh, interface. So, uh, once again, they're like, hey, you can scroll through your YouTube videos you got on your wallpaper or on your homepage, or you can open it up. Big carousel of the most frequently viewed or most recently uploaded. Uh, you scroll through, you can select there. Or if you know what you want, you can type in. Uh, search for it and they'll uh, it'll come up you know in a scrollable uh, they select one 
So it'll bring up in the side here the related videos, which is nice because you can see uh, it's just available there. You can watch it here with some info. You can also go full screen on this, um, which is nice. As there's more high uh, HD content uh, becoming available, you can, you can go full screen. Google Talk, uh, they really emphasize here the two megapixel camera and chatting. So you see there's an option here for a little video camera. If you select that, it'll send a request to whatever contact you have. Hey, do you want a Google chat? You can accept or decline. If they accept, you know, here's you. And here's the person you're talking to. Uh, you can also, they don't show it, but you can switch cameras. And then you can you can show not yourself, but you can show up with a five megapixel camera what's going on around you, or you know, Motorola booth or whatever you want to show. Uh, I'm not sure I missed what they're showing here. Oh, maps. So Google Maps once again, nice big experience. Uh, vector graphics, the very smooth, uh, 3D view. As you scroll in, and it tilt, tilts the landscape, and you go to 3D for a lot of cities in around the world that have been 3D image, uh, and it also has um, see what or I mean uh, uh, street view, which you would expect.